How's it going everybody? My name is Doge and today I'll be reviewing a car that everybody stopped using. And upon all the other car enthusiasts except me of course, this car was hor like horrendously ugly. It was super unreliable and it had so many different issues and overall it was a terrible car. But this car company redeemed themselves and produced a performance model and that's and that's what made me change my opinions about the about the entire car personally. Now, this car has not even Chrysler's own engine, but it somehow still succeeded and it's extremely rare. So, yeah, this is a 2003 Chrysler PT Cruiser GT, or as I like to call it, the Chrysler PT GT. Now, this is a performance car of the, you know, Pry Chrysler PT Cruiser that was off that was offered between 2001 and 2010. Now, it is a ugly, per se, hatchback because it uses a neoclassical design interpreted from the 1930s. Now, uh, under the hood is a surprising amount of power. It has a en it has the exact engine from a Dodge Neon SRT4. Now, what I'm talking about here is a 230 horsepower turbocharged inline four engine producing 275 pound-feet of torque and 230 horsepower. Now, in my opinion, this car looks great. And now that I've taken you on the looks and the and the performance, let me show you the vast amount of trims in the dealership page. All right, so here we are at the dealership page for the 2003 Chrysler FT, well, Chrysler PT Cruiser. This is a five-door model, and and the three-door model is also available. It has a it has a good amount of trim, starting with the beater, which is you know a beater. It, the, the specs are pretty glitchy. It, it does get seven miles a gallon, unfortunately, because you know it's a beater and has a lot of a lot of dents and damages in the engine, and you know damages to the body. Uh, there's the GT Turbo RS, which is the like literally the top the top trim, and I just didn't buy it because I thought it looked ugly because I just don't like the two tone. But anyway, uh, these specs are entirely wrong. Well, it does get 24 miles a gallon, and uh, uh, these these specs are wrong. But anyway. The limited turbo is, you know, the less the less upscale top trim per se. Then we have the touring woody, which looks better in white in, than in any other color, which is basically just a base model, well, well with with like touring specs and like a fake wood panels on the side. Then we got the touring, which is you know the you know the the more upscale base model per se. Then we got the GT, which is the one we have here in Patriot Blue. Now, as I said, this is the car we have, and uh, as you can see, the specs are, you know, wrong. This is a 220 horsepower, well, 230 horsepower uh, turbocharged four-cylinder engine offered with, offered in front-wheel drive only. They, they got all this right. It's just like, you know, the, the you know these specs that they got wrong. Uh, the base model, oh yeah, then it's back to base with, you know, the, you know, the base model PT Cruiser with like 150 horsepower and then back to beater. And in, in my honest opinion, those are, those are like pretty good amount. That's a pretty good amount of trims for a PT Cruiser to be brutally honest. Well, for any hatchback in general, because hatchbacks nowadays have like the most absurd amounts for trims. Well, this one had a pretty good variety. Well, now that I've shown you guys the dealership page, let me show you how it sounds. Alright, now that I've shown you guys the lighting test, let me show you this thing's performance, and I'm telling you, it has really good performance for a PT Cruiser. Alright guys, now this is offered with a 5-speed manual, so, you know, obviously I'm gonna use the manual, but a little warning, my times may be a little off this time because I'm not that good of a shifter, but I'll try my best. Alright, I'm gonna floor it in 3, 2, 1, go.
Alright, so this is offered in front wheel drive only, but anyway, this has a top speed of 130 miles an hour. It is a 5 speed manual transmission. Let's check the braking. It has incredible brakes! Like, actually, for a Chrysler, this has like better brakes than any American car that I've seen so far from like this era. Alright, now that I've shown you guys the performance, let me show you guys the driving experience. Alright, now driving the PT Cruiser actually is a lot of fun because hearing that blow off valve whenever you shift is just pure gold. And plus it's front wheel drive so you know it obviously has good grip to the road and so you know it has good turning. And plus it's pretty quick for a Chrysler. Like I don't think I don't think I know any other Chrysler that was this quick during this era other than the Chrysler Crossfire. So yeah. This is incredibly, this is like an incredibly cool daily driver and this, this trim is up, is $10,000 with no pass at all. And, and a little fun fact that actually rivaled, it actually had an, actually had a panel version which didn't really sell well and it was only, it was only a concept for a brief amount of time. But it, but it has received panel conversions and was a delivery van for a few owners. But anyway. It also it also rivaled against the Chevy HHR, which is basically a high, uh, like a high hood roof. I guess I think that's what it stands for. But anyway, yeah, the it actually it actually rivaled with the HHR and and received its own performance model, which is also incredibly rare, called the SS Panel Van, which is basically this, but with like a panel van and like you know a different type of four cylinder. But anyway. Back to the driving experience, it's just a blast. Like I love driving this. Like it's front wheel drive. The turbo, the turbo blow off valve sounds sweet. It has really good turns and really good brakes. And overall, it's just a great daily. I have no idea why anybody stopped using this because, well, it's okay if they don't if they want to use something else. But seriously, you're you're if you guys are one of those people who sold this after not liking it too much. I could probably say you're missing out, dude. Like this is a fun car. I could gladly say this is a fun car. And with that, I am proudly going to end this review. If you guys like what you've seen, make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye and have a great rest of your day.